Are you trying to find a solution to stop your cravings? In this video, we'll give you five steps on how to stop and beat your sugar cravings. So, hello everybody and welcome back on the channel. I think sugar cravings are nightmares for people who try to lose weight. Sometimes you find yourself in starvation and you don't know why you are still hungry if you had your lunch or you had something to eat probably 20 or 30 minutes before you have the cravings. So I'm trying to explain you now why, what is happening and why it's happening and, and then I'll give you five hints on how you can beat or reduce your cravings and you can start to feel better and lose weight. So let's start with one important thing. You need sugar for your body to function properly. ATP is adenosine triphosphate and adenosine triphosphate is a complex uh, organic compound, a chemical compound that is used uh, by your body to produce energy that is required for all your bloody cells or your muscle or your organs. So why you need sugar? Sugar through the glycolysis is used to produce ATP. So by using sugar you produce energy and you your body function are kept running through the, through the sugar. So not all sugar is bad, but it's the way that you can get sugar in your body that can help you to give you energy and to, you know, to function properly. So you need sugar, but you need it in a proper way. So I'll give you now the five hints on how you can control your cravings and get rid of the bad feeling of the cravings. Number one is to add the right food in your diet. And by adding the right food, I mean that you need food that don't create peak of insulin in your bloodstream. So, I mean healthy fats, healthy carbohydrates or healthy proteins. Examples maybe for healthy proteins like eggs, legumes, poultry, meat. Uh, for healthy fats, it can be uh, nuts, uh, seeds, avocado, extra virgin olive oil. And for carbohydrate, all the legumes, all the uh, whole grain bread, rice and pasta. The reason is that this food will give you a longer sense of satisfaction and at the same time will keep you fulfilled uh, for a longer period of time. You will need to eat um, earlier during the day. This food are not, are not creating, as I said before, peak of insulin in your blood uh, because they are rich of fibers and water and uh, vitamins which help to maintain your blood level, your sugar blood level steady. My second tip is to drink water first and by saying that I mean sometimes you have a craving and you think it's a food craving but it may be water craving. Your, your brain sends signals to your body that needs something and you don't realize what is needed. So sometimes when you uh, feel a craving you just can drink a big glass of water and wait 15-20 minutes and if the craving goes away then it meant that it was a water craving. If not, then you can eat your snack. If you feel water cravings during the day, then it means that you are not drinking properly. You should eat about two liters of water every day, two liters of liquids every day. So if you split this amount throughout the day, you shouldn't have this problem anymore. Tip number three for me is to have at least five meals per day. And by saying that, I mean three main meals, breakfast, a lunch and dinner, and two snacks, one in the morning and one in the afternoon. By having this habit of five meals per day, you can keep your blood sugar level balanced and steady. And at the same time, you are giving instruction to your body that it doesn't need you. It doesn't need to send you any signal to be hungry, because you are providing you are providing him with nutrients throughout the day, all day long. A main snack idea, for example, maybe having some plain full-fat yogurt with some mixed seeds and nuts, about 30 grams of them and uh, a piece of fruit and in this way you are providing your body with all the nutrients needed um, if you don't like the taste of acidity taste of the yogurt you can add like uh, a sachet of uh, stevia just to sweeten a bit because stevia won't because it's not creating calories it's not giving you any kind of cravings so once in a while in a coffee and tea you can add stevia my tip number four is to think of supplementation. By saying that, I mean, sometimes 
throughout you know your daily activities you may be not in the position to eat properly because you're in a rush or you're doing something very fast and uh, around all your meals you are lacking some minerals or nutrients or vitamins so a multivitamins multiminerals taken in the morning can help you throughout those days by providing your body with the right amount of minerals and, and vitamins will also help you to stop the cravings and to uh, feel energetic throughout the day. I'll leave you a link in the description of a couple of um, multivitamins and multiminerals that I think are really good quality and they're not breaking the bank. My final fifth tip is exercise, 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 but in the right way. And by saying that, I mean that if you're having cravings, you should avoid kind of a, uh, physical activities where sugar is highly required, especially aerobic, aerobic activities like running, jogging, or cycling, or cross trainings. These are very aerobic um, sports and will drain sugars from everywhere. And at the end of the exercise, you probably need, uh, you probably feel hungry and you will feel the crave of sugars. At the beginning, when you are trying to change your lifestyles, my advice is to uh, do some kind of sports that are anaerobic, like uh, a light uh, weightlifting, some body workout, uh, body weight workout, uh, some yoga, some pilates, so you won't disrupt the blood sugar levels and you won't feel any cravings. So that's everything for now. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. Consider to subscribe and click the bell for getting new updates on new videos. Um, you'll find also my links to my Instagram, Facebook and my website pages in the description below. If you have any comments, please let me know. I'll try to answer to uh, everybody. And uh, I'm just left to say, eat well, live well and smile.